I just want to show you a little bit of film I took in the doldrums of a squall. You know, I had um, a lot of time I had nothing, absolutely zero or two knots of wind, and then the squall would just race in on you 35 knots. I've uh, got a bit here we took in one of the squalls. So I'm on deck and just having a look down to Lourdes, and then the squall hits now. You see, I'm running up to uh, to change or ease the traveller and then get, get behind the wheel and bear away to reduce the apparent wind. I guess the bree breeze was up to 35 knots by this point and we're probably doing 20 knots at the moment as we bear away and then a more stable sort of 17, 18. But this particular squall lasted for a very long time and was, um, was very, very unpleasant. And that's, that's what I was stuck with for, for a lot longer than anybody else. Um, and it's only subsequently, you know, after you're already in it, that you look at the models and then, oh, bang, you're in a, a tiny cell of low pressure. So, anyway, that's all behind us now, and um, the schools are receding a bit. We've still got them early, very early in the morning. The temperature differences are the most, so it's a lot better, though. Anyway, that's some of that. Let's see what else we've got going on around the boat. A little bit out the stern. Got a lot of heel on at the moment. Um, which is why we're chunking along. We're sort of doing 12 to 14 knots in 18 knots of breeze, um, about 70, 75 true. Which means we're quite close to the wind, but as the day progresses, the wind should come behind us and make our life, my life a lot easier, and hopefully we'll go a bit faster. Uh, stern camera looking forward, that one's not got much going on it today. Let's see, yeah, we're still slamming an awful lot. Um, because we're kind of going semi onto the waves, bang, it's a big one. Yeah, so um, it's not a lot of fun on deck, but down below it's fine. Let's have a little zoom round to the back of the boat. Yeah, so we're, we're cooking, we're cooking really nicely. We've gained 40 miles on Unai since yesterday, so, <coughs> you know, that's the boat's, the boat's on fire. So we've got two reefs and, uh, and the big solent, and we're just playing the traveller a lot. If, um, if, it, if it picks up anymore, we're pretty well seated, we can just go down a traveller, but if, it's, if it starts seeing 17s, then I'll shake the reef out and we'll be off again. Yep, so that's a little update from me. Uh Woo! Well, it's the 26th of uh, November and we're in the South Atlantic on Port Tack, heading straight south. And whilst the camera is out, I'll show you a little bit the South Atlantic going upwind still on board Roxy. It's still warm as you can see. Ah! Water! As you can see, I'm in a t shirt and bikini bottom still. It's a bit grey today, but never mind. There's wind and we're still moving. In a couple of days, we should be around the high pressure and heading into the Southern Ocean where things are going to be quite different. It's going to be cold and Today's problem is that the anti-cyclone of St. Helena is here.
It's like a barrier blocking the road. The tendency is to pass to the west, but some clever clogs will go straight ahead. Will I be one of them? That's the question. que j'ai jamais fait au grand large alors avec Virbac là j'étais obligé de prendre la barre parce qu'il était tribord et moi bas bord rien que pour respecter la priorité vous dire où on en est c'est quand même barjo alors euh, on est au 20e jour de course on va rentrer dans les 40e à la fin de la journée ou dans la nuit qui vient. Et ce qui est le plus incroyable, c'est qu'on est au contact entre différents bateaux de la flotte. Alors là, c'est un peu compliqué de vous les montrer parce qu'ils sont un peu petits. Mais à 1,5 sous mon vent, il y a Veolia. Et à 3,000 à mon vent, il n'y a pas Prec. Donc c'est quand même quelque chose d'incroyable. Qui aurait imaginé il y a trois semaines qu'on serait encore bord à bord en train de se tirer la bourre en plein milieu de l'Atlantique Sud. Virbac, euh, l'entrée dans les mers du Sud euh, s'annonce prometteur, les grandes vitesses, génial So what I'm doing is a repair for my starboard rudder um, because I've got a, a bar that goes across um, between the rudder and the rudder case uh, to support the rudder case. And that bar's broken, um, so I'm going to get my rudder up, try and get the old bar out, and I've just made a new one um, to put in its place. Et là, on est 